Hello, Belmont residents. My name is PJ Looney, and I'm asking you to vote no on question five. Question five authorizes the town to raise taxes via a 30-year debt exclusion to demolish the current 29,000 square foot library and replace it with a much larger 41,500 square foot library. The estimated cost is just under 40 million and will cost about $325 per average single family home. That price, of course, is on top of the $400 annual property two and a half levy, plus the final round from the high school debt exclusion that's still to be determined. Add in a ring project at around 300 per household, and an expected override that could go as high as $1,700 per household, and your collective tax bill will increase over $2,500. The Collins report released this summer essentially said, the residential taxpayer is tapped out and we are spending more than we bring in. We can't grow commercial revenue fast enough to fill the gap. This fiscal, re fiscal cliff will result in massive cuts to services. So why propose a mega modern library at 40 million in the midst of this crisis? It just doesn't add up. The Collins report was not wrong with the overburdened taxpayer. Energy prices continue to soar as you taxes and rents. The pain keeps growing for many in town. What happened to Belmont's New England charm? This new library proposal feels more like it belongs in Manhattan, New York than Belmont. So much for reduce, reuse, recycle. Now Belmont is demolish and replace. No one five proposes renovation over demolition. The town is in deep fiscal straits and we need to return to our Yankee conservative roots and start to preserve things. Please join me in voting no on question five. Cheers.